God, we thank you for your mercy, your grace, your love, and your kindness. God, it's our clear understanding that it was you who woke us up this morning, started us on our way, allowing us to see the dawn of another day. And give wisdom, give her knowledge, and give her the miracle, whatever they do in it, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this equipping through faith. We thank you, Father. I pray, God, that as folks come in contact with him, that they would truly be convicted through the power of the Holy Spirit, God. Put a hedge of protection around them, Lord, that as in their travels, God, that they are able to continue to uh, minister your gospel, your good news to those. And everything we do is glorify and honor you in every action we make. That's all these things in your holy and precious name. Amen. Amen. Keep doing it, bro. That's what it's yeah. about, bro. Neighborhoods are much slower because uh, people aren't walking around. But you know, you just try to just talk to the Lord, walk with Jesus, and pray that God brings some divine encounters. It's a little slower for sure. What do you, what do you think when you see someone carrying the cross like this? Well, that's the kind of impressive. Someone's doing it in North Rock. Yeah. Eh. Why is it impressive? Hey, you don't see that kind of thing in North Little Rock. Why is that? They don't. Uh, God's kind of missing from over here. Okay. <laughs> They don't, uh, yeah. I wish we wouldn't move over here. So we're in North Little Rock. We just crossed the bridge, and a guy earlier, right when we crossed the bridge, said nobody comes to this part of town, specifically the area of North Little Rock. And uh, he just said, you know, even a five year old probably has a gun. And um, we're just ministering to a couple of guys here in the street. I uh, personally think it's a little sketchy, but uh, God's, God's still moving. Yeah, there's people with a crowd like that, bro. What do you think? Oh, ain't nothing wrong with it. Well, just do it because Jesus told me to. Ain't nothing wrong with that either. What's your name? My name is Lavelle, bro. But everybody call me Dirt. Dirt? Yes, sir. Well, well, when you see someone carrying a cross, what goes through your head? Hey, somebody needs some prayer. What are you trying to do, the Lord? Bro? Yeah. Well, uh, how can we pray for you? I mean, well, I got a lot going on. My pops on his deathbed right now. Hope we make it. What's the uh, deal with your dad? He's my pops on his deathbed death right now. Oh, okay. Um, they had my little, they had my daughter going through, going through her little experiences, you know, and she ain't number ten years old. And I mean, it's got a lot going on right now. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. Well, we're gonna pray for your family. Okay, I appreciate it. So Jesus, we just pray for Devell, and I just pray for his dad. We just pray for a miracle. Jesus, we just thank you for bringing a miracle into his life. So, have you ever had a time in your life that you surrendered and got born again? Yes, sir. When was that? Uh, it was after me and my my ex-wife got divorced. Okay. And I got out there, I was on drugs real bad, and you know what I mean, because I didn't want to get divorced. And, you know what I mean, like you said, you feel cursed. and. Like I, it's like I couldn't get nothing done and just kept messing up everything. I didn't, you know what I mean? I felt like a, the F up, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, man. These moments are very powerful where someone's just walking down the street alone and then they see a guy carrying a cross. Who knows what they're going through in their life in that moment and they're probably praying, Jesus, I need a sign. and. Here's a guy carrying a cross in the middle of the street, but that powerful moment uh, might impact that dude for life, and the Lord really speaks to him through through the cross. Yeah, we saw you walking down the street. She was like, "This guy's like carrying a cross." And I was like, "Yeah." And then you walk past the door, and I was like, "Oh." Okay. I've seen it. I'm from Conway, and I've seen it done in Conway. Mm. So when you see someone carrying the cross, how does it make you feel? I think it makes me feel good. It makes people, you know look at it, you know, and wonder, hey, what are they doing, or ask you questions, kind of like we did. Oh, here's a little bracelet, just oh. uh, got some Bible verses on there. Well, thank you. Um, thank so, you. Jesus loves you guys so much. You need prayer. Can I please take a picture of y'all? Yeah, for that sure. That is so cool. Yeah. Can 
What are you doing this for? I'm just uh, carrying it to all 50 states, and here we are in Little Rock, Arkansas. That is so cool. Yeah. What? Jesus, I just pray uh, just for Zoe. I pray for her family, Lord. Holy Spirit, just give her peace. Go ahead. And I command her back to be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Yep. You ever had a time in your life where you confess him as Lord and you know you changed? Yes, matter of fact, um, I was a severe drug addict. I was a meth addict and I had gotten trouble. And I was going to prison. And I told them, either heal me or I can't do this. And I've been six and a half years sober and since. Wow. Thank yes. God. When you have faith in Jesus, there's a Bible verse you, it says you confess him as Lord. Uh -huh. You say, Jesus, I want you to be my Lord. Right. And when you do that, by faith, and it's in your heart, you uh, you become a new creation. You know what it means to become a new creation? Uh -huh. What it means is that on the inside of you, he gives you a new heart. Okay. And he changes you. Well, would you want to turn away from that life and follow Jesus today? I would. I go a lot to you. I would. Well, let's tell him. You know, for, from your heart, say, Jesus. Jesus. I'm going to live for you. I'm going to live. I don't enjoy that life. I don't enjoy that life. But I want life in you, Jesus. But I want life in you, Jesus. I want you to be my master. I want you to be my master. Not sin. And not sin. Amen. Amen. Do you believe that in your heart? Yes, I do. I really do. Yeah. Would you say you're close to God today or far away? I say close. That's good. Praise God. If you guys are hungry and you're going to pursue the Lord, like you go after Him, He's gonna He's gonna give you a newfound joy, and you're just gonna you're gonna have new relationships come into your life. Remember what he mentioned, right? Sometimes we gotta let some people go, and when you seek the Lord, when you truly you're hungry, you're going after Him. He's gonna open up new relationships and new doors because He's gonna try to pull you closer to Him, and so you're gonna start having those divine connections. But it all starts with you and giving Him your heart and saying, you know what? I'm tired of doing my own thing. Jesus, what is what do you want me to do now? It's just that simple prayer. You should carry the cross with me. Now. You want me to carry on the street? Come on. Come on. Come on. Think about what Jesus went through. Beaten beyond recognition so that we could have life. Think about it. Over, let his love overwhelm you. Here you go. Here it is. Come on. I can help you if you need to. When he was doing this, he was thinking about you. He's thinking about me. He's thinking about Wade. He's thinking about Lavelle. He's thinking about all of us. It feels heavy, but think about the, the weight of sin coming across. It's like that verse. He became a curse for us. The weight of sin upon one man. It's like he carried it. It's like he carried it for us. And it's like when the waves of sin come up off you, it lifts up. It lifts, you know, it lifts up. You ain't got all that extra heavy weight. That's right. I'm on you, so yeah. Well, bless you guys. Thank you. Bless you guys too. Thank y'all. Have a good evening. Yeah, yeah, you get my hug. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for coming out. Coming, talking to me. Yeah, appreciate it. This is the Lord. Yeah.